It's the Drinking with Drew Show. The only podcast in Florida hosted by the private investigator of the stars, Drew. So, how's this coming? Can you get this fucking stranger off my, my damn lawn? I like it. We're sampling drinks from across the world. That mainly from Riverview, Florida. We're giving you the spin on all the news you need to know about. Local, national, and maybe even from your bedroom. Yep, that includes sex and whatever else we care to talk about. I actually have a butthole in my face. Better than Joe Rogan, but not as good as Jerry Springer. You'll laugh. <laughs> like, like I was on a safari and I got eaten by a lion. Like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah. you get to heaven. You got, like, street cred. You'll cry. I miss you. You stay over here, right? You'll want to pry your earballs off. Tune in. Tune out. Don't believe a word we say. That's so freaking cool, man. Drinking with Drew.com. With guest Dusty Laura, the neighbor Joe, Darby. Special appearances by J. Fred and Casey. And now, here's. Y'all better listen up now. Are you going to New York? Well, I, I have no clue. Probably not. Well, if we do anything, it'll probably be um, in like October. It won't be in August when it's Stacy's birthday. She wants to go somewhere with the sharks, though. So maybe something in Florida. She wants to open water dive. Yeah. Wants to open water? That's My sister. Great. Oh, for her birthday. That's pretty cool. Now, ha- has she gone skydiving and all that? That's. That's, no, that's called dumb my, Joe. My sister that wants to do the um, open cage or the open water. Open cage MMA well, no. fighting. No, it's the um, open water. So you're not in a cage. She wants to swim with the sharks, but she's the one that went to Africa and jumped out of the safari Fuck. truck van, whatever, to go get closer photos to, of the hippos. and Try to go give a hug to a lion. Probably. That would probably be something I would do. But she went, She, I think she did, she did a cage dive in, um, when she was in Africa as well with the great whites. So she's done all, like she loves that shit. And this is Stacy. Yeah. Have you ever mm-hmm. thought that she just doesn't care and she wants, like, she has no concern about living. So she's just doing all this crazy shit. But wanting to die and having no fear of death are two different things. I have no fear I of death. I just think she's a bad I, bitch no. that wants to go hang no. out with the exactly. baddest animals in the jungle. Joe, she's afraid jungle. of no man and very few animals. I, right. I have no fear of death, Joe. I've looked death in the eyes many times. I've <laughs> died. I've literally died. Okay. I've been dead. No shit. Okay. I don't fear death. I know what it's like, but I'm still not going to fucking swim with sharks. I'm still not going to go bungee jumping. I'm still not going to go do some stupid shit, hang gliding bullshit. Cause as depressed and morbid as I sound sometimes, I actually do like living and I'm not going to try to purposely cut my life short. What about those people that go like extreme skiing and they go like flying no, off the cliff? Fuck all crazy. of that. Fuck all that. Like I have a friend that does like the uh, kite surfing and that's some pretty, I mean, they make some awesome videos. They just like, they're flying, they're flipping over and, the, and they land in the water. It's like pretty crazy. I but, don't want to be that person. And I'm just going to do another extreme thing. Like when you climb Everest and then you end up being the dead person on the mountain, that's actually a, like a landmark. Okay. Oh, once you've made it to the guy in the red jacket, you're halfway there. Yeah, but you could either you could either be a nobody who went to work every day for the rest of your life, but I and will then died sharks. and then died like an old lady sitting in the house with a nineteen cats, or you could be fucking epic. I mean, if you're gonna go, I mean, go epic. I mean, when, they know him like, as this guy in the red jacket. Nobody knows yes. his name. Like you have to like research that shit. It's I mean, not if like you're he's... being eaten by your cats, you're we're talking about you. You're probably still epic, right? <laughs> You're going to make the news, maybe? Like everyone's like, oh, I don't want to be mauled by a lion. But if you're going to go out, like, that's a fucking awesome way to go. We were at remember we were at Bush Gardens and there was one of the tigers that was up against like the the exhibit, whatever, the enclosure, the glass. glass. And I was like, this guy came through right now and mauled me. I would die happy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right, for if, you're five gonna, seconds. if you're going to go, I mean, at least go out with a fucking bang. Like, yeah. I mean, that's epic. Like, you're like, I was on a safari and I got eaten by a lion. Like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah. you get to heaven. You got, like, street cred. Just <laughs> know that if ever I get attacked by a wild animal, do not shoot that wild animal. No, fuck Let that. Let it do its thing. You're That's like, why I get so mad with, like... like oh, give him a pound. Like, what's up, bro? 
I get so mad when they like kill. I try to shoot you with a wild shit. animal once a week, and you just like, eh, whatever. That's a, a bad sex joke. Yeah, it's bad. A bad sex Were you yeah, trying it, to it, refer it, to it as your work. eagle break with your it, wild bald it eagle? It, it, it didn't <laughs> land properly. <laughs> My bald eagle. My bald eagle. That's why you can't do. A, that's why it can't be a bald eagle break. Because when you say bald eagle, it just sounds like you're talking about your dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. This has been another episode of the Drinking with Drew show. Stay tuned for more uploads, more shows. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Humble Social, all the socials. Our live shows are Tuesday at 630 Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to check us out live. You can call into the show and be a part of it. See you soon.